more than a month, is back with his family tonight and sharing his story. 29-year-old Michael Kirkpatrick vanished back in July, leaving loved ones searching for answers. Kirkpatrick is a veteran who suffers from PTSD and says he needed time to heal. WNCN's Nate Rogers has the exclusive interview. There are a lot of people, man, looking for you, worried, yeah. scared, fearing the worst. I didn't realize that till like I said about, uh, when we spoke earlier, about a month after I was out there. That's when I found out how many people were looking for me. It pains Michael Kirkpatrick that his need to heal ended up worrying many loved ones. The 29-year-old worked as an Army infantryman for nearly three years. Like many others before him, he experienced the death of a fellow colleague, a death that still haunts him today. When they just disappear, or when, they, when they're just gone, and you just find out, oh, they're gone now, mm -hmm. that's a hard thing to get through. And he says returning to civilian life was a challenge. In addition to struggling with PTSD, Kirkpatrick also separated from his wife and kids. I was in this hole in the ground where at least it felt like, you know, that just kept getting deeper, you know, in terms of debt and not seeing the kids, not being able to talk to them, and then, um, or not being able to talk to them as much as I want. So for more than a month, Kirkpatrick hiked the Appalachian Trail. He abandoned his job, left his cell phone behind, and didn't tell family members his location. He says he wanted to live life deliberately. But these would be my dinners. You just mix them with a bowl of water and dump them in, let it sit for 10 minutes. Dr. Stan Malloy counsels many soldiers. He says Kirkpatrick's journey is very common. But they got one foot downrange, they got one foot here, and they're not feeling at home anywhere they are. Uh, that sense of wanting to get off by yourself, isolate. Kirkpatrick admits to thinking about suicide several times, but now he's found a better way. The trial saved my life. And I really got to stress, like, you know, 22 veterans die a day from suicide. Over, a, um, it's close to probably about 150,000 have died since the war started in 2001. Moving forward, Kirkpatrick says he'll attend counseling and soon reunite with his kids. And those special clothes his mother held tight during her last interview, she's glad to see him wearing them today. I love it. I love it. They're not ugly no more. <laughs> I was just happy to get out of some smelly hiking clothes, you know, because <laughs> you, know, you, 